views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Welcome to Limelight Radio with Katina Macris. This week, you'll be hearing from guest host Mara Williams. Mara is one of America's leading experts on tick-borne diseases, a healthcare provider of almost 35 years. Mara is a board-certified adult nurse practitioner, energetic healer, sought-after speaker, and author of Nature's Dirty Needle. Now, here's your guest host, Mara Williams. Hi, this is Mara, and welcome to Limelight Radio. I am so excited today, as I have my guest as Katina, and you all know her, so I'm not going to read a long thing of all her accomplishments, because here she is. Hi. Hey, Mara. Hi. (laughs) Hi, everyone. It's really kind of fun to be the guest today on Limelight Radio. A new role for you. I know, and I, um, I'm so grateful because I can remember my very first show that I launched August 14th, um, the year 2013, so that's two years ago. My very first yeah. guest was you, Mara Williams. Uh, I know, and we're wrapping up my time on Limel- Limelight Radio with you. I love it. I Perfect. Love it. Perfect yeah. circle. Perfect circle. It is. So we, our first, we, we talked about this before the show, but we were going to talk about your adventures around the world with Out of the Woods and your perception of what's going on. So do you want to start with that? Yeah, that's a really great place to start. Um, Yes. um, What I have witnessed in the past three and a half years, I wrote Out of the Woods for people that are um, not familiar with it, Out of the Woods, Healing Lyme Disease, Body, Mind, and Spirit was my first book that I wrote. Um, and it's my memoir. It's my personal 10-year healing journey through Lyme disease. I was misdiagnosed for five years, bedridden for three, and um, my five years of treatment to get well. And I'm one of the uh, very fortunate survivors and recoveries who have recovered 100%. And I actually did not have to use antibiotics. We were able to use um natural medicine at its finest, many multidisciplines to help me heal. And I, I was prompted to write this book because I felt there was so much emotional and spiritual suffering on the inside of what a Lyme patient feels like. I was so lost and mishandled and neglected and confused by the medical system and dropped between the cracks too many times. And as you know, Mara, because we've shared the, together many conversations, I had a broken spirit and besides a broken body. And so I decided to put voice to what it feels like um, to be in this situation and to feel like, wow, we've got one of the best medical systems apparently in the world, but they couldn't help me get well. So I wrote this book and little did I know when I first went out with it, um, like a good new author, that I was going to find that literally at my first, second, third, fourth, fifth bookstore events, here were people in wheelchairs and walkers, stricken with palsies and um, all kinds of symptomology and chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia and the list goes on and on. And I said, oh my God, oh my God, what's going on? So I came home and I Googled Lyme disease support groups and I started uh, connecting with them all around the country. And what happened over the next three and a half years, as many of my followers know that follow me on Facebook and Twitter, is that I've made over 110 appearances on grassroots efforts. I've gone into um, so many regions of the U.S., whether it's you know the Northwest or Southern California or Minnesota or down to the Carolinas and Florida and throughout New England. And what I see everywhere is enormous, enormous suffering. Amazing. Um, yeah. Enormous suffering. I mean, people are tragically ill. Um, they have been sick for years, sometimes decades. Um, I get into places like North Carolina. They ha- have had no Lyme literate physicians. Um, people have like all these complicated diagnoses that with our words you can't even pronounce because the doctors are just trying to come up with something. And here I am, Lyme literate, and I know about co-infections and 
I, I'm, it's just astounding the, the, the width and breadth of the epidemic at North Florida, Georgia, Tennessee, uh, Iowa, you name it. It's everywhere. Canada. I'm going to speak in Canada. I just was in France, as you know. Um, it's everywhere. And I, it just breaks my heart because um, when a parent comes and they tell me their child's at home paralyzed, um, from the illness and the doctors sent them home from the hospital with no answers and they don't know what to do. Uh, it, it breaks my heart. I, it, we've got to make massive inroads at every level, at every call, level. At this point, I call it conscious ignorance. I think that pe- that providers that are still within the current health care system don't want to know. They're too afraid to take it on because of the of the backfire the backfire it causes for them if they become too public with it you know they go after line literate doctors i just saw on facebook uh, yesterday that dr Bruscano was being investigated again i mean it's just it's incredible to me the way that they go after uh providers who want to do something to help people it just i know and, and, and it's very upsetting. Um, you know, places like Long Island, like you just mentioned, where Dr. Boriscano used to practice, Cape Cod, I mean, these areas that are very stricken, um, doctors are even afraid to do anything more than just treat an acute infection. Um, and, you know, I have a lot of theories as to, you know, why. I, I mean, we, you and I both know there was a big medical mistake back in the late 70s, early 80s yeah. when they did not research it. Yeah. They yeah. did not research it. They just put it in a nice little box. It's a short-term infectious illness. AIDS was like decimating people and a lot of attention and money went there, which was great because they figured it out, but they made a big medical mistake. They did not study this illness early. And now 30, 40 years later, we've got a clinical uh, picture and we've got a society that's riddled in the multi-millions with autoimmune style illnesses, et cetera. And you and I both know tick-borne organisms are at play with a lot of this. Oh, pr- pretty much, I would say, 90% of the time, <laughs> you know, and if it's not tick-borne, it's some other chronic infection that underlies the the autoimmune process. You know, something created it in the first place. Autoimmune is not a root cause disease, any of these diseases. There's something else triggering these responses in people's body. Yeah, and, and, and but, it, but it is upsetting, like you said, like, that the average physician, the average, you know, family doctor or internist or GP, they don't even have an accurate test to work with. They're driving in the dark. Yes, they are. And I, I, I think I saw something a couple of days ago that said 70 percent of all care in the current health care system is driven by lab results. So if you can't get lab results on Borrelia or Bartonella or Babesia or any of the other co-infections that, that, that are out there. You know, frequently what I do with a new patient is I'll check for chlamydia pneumonia and mycoplasma pneumonia and do a viral panel because if they're all lit up, it's a real clear indication to me that I'm dealing with Lyme and co-infections as well. So, I mean, there are ways around this, but I understand what's going on and I'm one of those people looking for those things, not ignoring them. And you are one of the very, very rare, you know, type practitioners that is Lyme literate. I think Dr. Liegner over in Pauling, New York, who I like so much, he's um, been with the ILADS group for many years now. I mean, he estimates there's really less than 200 practitioners in the country that really, really know how to address these organisms, you know, at the multisystemic level. Especially when somebody's been sick for years. I think there's a there's a there's a discrepancy. Uh, Wayne Anderson and I were talking about that the la- when I had him on the show a couple of weeks ago, and he was saying everything we're talking about now applies to chronic long term issues. It doesn't apply to the acute infection that people will get, and the critical difference between those two is really important to recognize. Very much so, and you know, so what I've seen is I get into you know an area that's maybe a little bit more Lyme savvy, like sections of New England. So people know, oh my God, I feel like I'm coming down with the flu. Um, I've got bad headaches. I, I, you know, I, I've been exhausted for three weeks. So you know, maybe an area you know like Connecticut or you know uh, New Hampshire, they will march into their doctor and they'll say, I think I've got Lyme. A lot of doctors are afraid to test, or if they do, they just use that that old ELISA test, which is, as you worthless, know, worthless, thirty <laughs> percent accurate, total joke. But there's other areas I go into, 
and they'll tell me, well, I had three um, of those big spider bites on my body, like one on my thigh and one huge one on my stomach. And I showed them to the doctor and I said, could this be Lyme disease? And the doctor said to me, oh, no, 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 we don't have that down here. That's only up on Cape Cod. So here, <laughs> it, it, I mean, it's astounding, Mara, what I've, what I've witnessed and it's just, um, I, I, I can't do enough. I mean, that's part of the reason why I launched Limelight Radio. It's why I go out there, as you know, and speak, um, you know, all around the country as we sit on a shoestring budget. Uh, these support groups are fantastic. Um, Oregon's got me coming for a week. I'm going down to Block Island. I'm in Northampton, Mass. I'm going all over these people, bless their heart, these support group leaders. I mean, they really are like, you know, in the Joan of Arc Kara's category. I mean, <laughs> they are, you know, working so okay. hard to emotionally keep people in their community alive yeah. and then working so hard on little shoestring budgets to get speakers or doctors in to offer some direction and education. But, you know, we need everything camps, schools, state parks. There need to be signs up. There need to be tick warnings. Every, I think, summer camp in the country, every children, every sports team, they all need to know, you know, what is Lyme disease, what uh, ticks carry. I mean, we, there's a lot of education we need. Yes, there is. And with that, we're going to hold off here and go to break, and we will be back in a few minutes. Don't go away, Katina. I'll be back. I feel good. I knew that I wouldn't. I feel good. I knew that I wouldn't. So good. So good. I got a year. I feel nice. Tune in to the hit show Masters Chambers with your trusted friend, Connie Fife. Mondays, 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Each week, Connie will connect you with the best of the best thought leaders from around the globe to share their strategies and best practices. Getting better together. To book Connie, visit ConnieFifeSpeaks.com. Artie Hoffman is the hottest psychic with the warmest heart and the host of the hit show Angels and Answers. A renowned psychic, medium, spiritual life coach, and an entertaining motivational speaker, Artie has helped over 15,000 people with his amazing intuitive gifts, his passion, and his humor. Call 877-ANGEL-02 to schedule a personal reading or to have your own psychic Artie party. That's 877-ANGEL-02. And visit ArtieHoffman.com and Angels and Answers on Facebook. Clairvoyance, a gift few have. And even fewer match the powers of one of America's best. Dr. Linda Salvin. Dr. Linda's uncanny ability drills to the core of your issues to bring you quick and accurate answers and predictions. In more than two decades, Dr. Linda has helped over 75,000 people. On national radio, by phone, in person. When you need answers, Dr. Linda makes it clear. Book your time with this legendary seer now. Click on lindasalvin.com or call 888-509-1077. Tune in to the Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Enlightening, humorous, and compassionate. Listen live to The Kelly Ballard Show, insight and inspiration from the great beyond. Kelly is a fourth-generation medium and intuitive who covers topics ranging from grief, spirit guides, and listening to your intuition. Kelly can help you get answers and guidance from the other side with a little bit of humor and a lot of healing. Tune in to The Kelly Ballard Show, Thursdays at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, here on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Hi, 
Joseph, and this is Mara Williams back with Limelight Radio and talking with Katina. Um, Katina, just to finish up a little bit on your perceptions of what's going on out there before we move on, is there just something, something you'd like to summarize? I mean, do you see the situation improving at all, or is it I just do. getting... Okay. Yeah, I mean, I do. As dire as it is, um, the fact is that America is, the United States is waking up to the fact that we have a public health care crisis. Um, you know, it. they are waking up to it. I, the places I go, I mean, I could be in an airport, I'm talking to someone on a plane next to me, you know, I, I'm in transit, and I, people, oh, what do you do? I say, oh, I'm, a, I'm a, you know, I'm an author, I'm a healthcare practitioner, I specialize in Lyme disease, and they're like, oh, God, yeah, that's bad. Uh, yeah, <laughs> oh, my cousin had it, or... Or I understand you, you know, the testing, you really don't even know when you have it. And so, you know, that's different than even three years ago. The, the fact is people are waking up to it and they realize that it's a bad illness. Um, and, uh, you know, I am, I am finding awareness growing. And, but people are still troubled in the fact that they don't, they don't really know you know, what to do, um, what happens if I get a tick on me? Do I need to get onto antibiotics immediately? I mean, does my doctor have all the answers? So we end up in the, these big, you know, lengthy talks on airplanes and in, you know, grocery stores and all over the place. So, yes. And I also do think, Mara, um, I feel hope in terms of um, some of the people that I've met and interviewed, and I'm sure you sense this too in the medical world, there are a few net new tests that are coming out that, like that antigen test that Series Labs is working on, and um, iSpot with neuroscience. I, 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 iSpot, I, yeah, iSpot yeah. is 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 looking good. It looking it is. good, and yeah. the antigen test would be an early find, a forty eight hour verification instead of a two or three week antibody test. So, I am seeing a little bit of hope. Of course, there's not the money we need. We need a lot of money to crack the code on this illness, and. Um, but you know, step by step, I, I do see, I do see some changes. Well, that's great. I, you know, I, I do end up having conversations with people as I move about the country as well. And it, it, I am getting a more knowledgeable, uh, people are more aware and asking more pointed questions than they did three years ago. I'm seeing that as well. Yeah. 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 So that's hopeful. That is hopeful. Yeah. It is, because then they get the idea that, oh, gee, maybe I can't go to my regular doctor. He doesn't know what to do. I'll just go over here. You know, and I think that's a real distinction. And we'll talk more about this later in the show. But what I'd really like to get into now is your new book. Tell us about your new book, please. Oh, my gosh. So, oh, my God, this is really um, incredible, I have to say. Um, First of all, it's called autoimmune illness and Lyme disease recovery guide mending body mind and spirit Um, my publisher is Helios Press they actually asked me to write this when we took out of the woods into its new second edition which also is on audible format which I was so so happy to have out of the woods on audible because so many people are cognitively impaired and if they can listen to that inspirational story um, it's so heartwarming so with the new book um, I had submitted two chapters and an outline and in two hours they signed me to a contract to write this book and as you know Mara I had to write it in a year (laughs) and it's a huge huge um a piece of work that i put together and thank you for helping me edit and review (laughs) sections of it um so this book is um long overdue i think for our culture it's it's got it's got uh several sections in it number one we look at the american healthcare system and why we are failing, why we rank number 37th in the world um, by the World Health Organization in overall health. And there's a lot of factors that you and I know of. Our polluted food chain, um, you know, all of the um, toxins that yeah. we've been exposed to, the plastics and the estrogen, you know, mimickers that they, I mean, we can go on and on, heavy metals. I mean, but but also the the form of doctoring, our doctors in the United States, states are the only doctors I am aware of in Western society that are not trained in integrative medicine in health 
in, in, in their medical training. Um, unless you're a naturopath or you've gone on afterwards, you go to France, you go to Italy, you go to Germany, you go to South America, those doctors, they know about homeopathics or herbs or colonics or, you know, detox measures. So we've got a country that's very lopsided. It's pharmaceutical and procedure based. Right. And it's very um, sad to say, last 20 years, you know, because you've been in private practice, the health, the insurance industry started dictating what doctors could do and couldn't do in their office. So they lost a lot of freedom. And we've ended up with a situation where, you know, you've got a constellation of symptoms. And if you don't fit a little pigeonhole of a very clear, what I call dashboard light, you know, symptomology picture, you're lost between the cracks. So... This book looks at this, and this book looks at the spectrum of autoimmune illnesses like lupus and fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome and MS and and also Lyme disease and what the whole crossover um, <laughs> crossover situation is. And bless Dr. Richard Horowitz. He helped me on one big chapter in that book, too, because he's such a genius on this topic. And we look at this 50 million Americans and 250 million people around the world are diagnosed with autoimmune diseases, which cover anything from diabetes to psoriasis to MS to to um, myasthenia gravis. It's huge. It's huge. And we are seriously imbalanced. Um, and then I move into how do we get well? And, of course, this incorporates something that's very near and dear to both of our hearts, which is all of the complementary approaches, how to all of these beautiful disciplines, how to all of the herbals and the nutraceuticals and the detoxification measures and the homeopathics and the energetics and the um, lifestyle management. Um, How do we use these disciplines to help rebalance and recalibrate our bodies because underlying these diseases are predisposing factors and issues that many of us got exposed to along the way. You know, you just don't get an autoimmune illness just because some little you know, trigger got flipped. It's a it's a conglomerate. Like you and I both know, heavy metals, mold yeah. toxicities, emotional traumas. Um, you know, it's a vaccine adjuvants. Uh, <laughs> I have to throw that one in. It's a uh, big one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The gluten, gluten intolerance. Yeah. I mean, the whole gluten. That's whole. That the past 50, forty years of modified wheat is a completely different wheat than our grandparents ate. I mean, it, it's food additives, good fats versus fat. I could go on and on and on. Yeah, the book, yeah, yeah. The book goes into vivid detail, and then my favorite part. Um, which is, um, I think, so empowering in this new book, is I help the reader realize that inside of themselves, they have been born with very powerful inner healing tools. And these tools are, are innate. We have intention. We have willpower. We have belief. We have visualization. We have creativity. We have so many inner qualities um, that, sad to say, have gotten weaned out of our little ones because they're, they're so taught at a young age to use their left brain and memorize and, and learn alphabet and write and read so young that these other qualities have been neglected. And as a result, now we have a population it's very accelerated, very externalized, and looking for sources to heal from the outside. Where Side, yeah. Right. And but yeah. we have inner healing powers. They're, they're beautiful. And, yeah. and igniting that mind-body pathway, which I just mentioned with affirmation and prayer and meditation and creativity and willpower and intention, it's not hard to do. So I, I help the reader with exercises regain their own healing powers so when you integrate it all Mara when you integrate those inner healing powers plus the integrative medicine work and finding practitioners like you and Wayne Anderson and other great people out there um, you can re- reclaim a quality of life so you're not drug dependent you're not housebound and you can you can turn you can turn around I'm a living example you are and and the thing that you did, and I'm 
is you lived impeccably. You did everything you needed to do to get off that out of that bed and living your life fully again. And look at you. I mean, you're traveling all over the world. You're sharing your story with thousands and thousands of people, and you're making a huge impact all through your own intent. And that's what started your path to healing. At least that's my perception of what I saw in your book and that uh, and, and what I've seen as your friend and getting to know you. I have seen that quality in you. You are a perfect example of those qualities. Um, I, I want to throw in something here because I was very excited to read it. They yeah. have proven in quantum physics that the atom and the atoms in DNA, that DNA contains, each molecule contains 11 dimensions. That's Think cool. about that. That is so cool. A little tiny atom has 11 dimensions in it. So truly, we are our own healers. We can go to our own DNA and talk to it and work with it. And that's where all this intention and visualization and all of the things you're talking about originates from. It's, it's so really true. exciting. It's so true. I'm getting the chills as you mention it. I mean, I personally um, felt the changes physiologically in my body when I was two years into my treatments, you know, using herbals and detoxification and homeopathics, et cetera. But when I started the mind-body work and we started crafting with the help of a spiritual teacher – my intention statements and my belief statements and I I visualized and I recited them and I practiced them and I moved with them and I took action like you said with intention I mean I honestly within a matter of weeks I could feel the physiological changes happening and it, With that, it, it, I got to stop you. Sorry. We got to go to time. break. Okay. Time. I yes, commercial. I know you do. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in to Lucid Planet Radio with Dr. Kelly Neff. This hit show will illuminate your senses and empower you beyond your daily stressors and hardships. Renowned psychologist and author Dr. Kelly will captivate you with far-reaching topics and amazing guests as you wake to the greatest version of yourself. Learn to tap into your intuitions, think critically about our world, heal emotional and psychological wounds, and follow your passions to live your dreams. The Lucid Planet. Welcome home. Visit lucidplanetradio.com for more information. Are you ready for a radical shift in your way of being? Are you seeking a more deeply connected and fulfilling life? Awakened Living Radio is a show dedicated to helping you embrace a life filled with profound peace, connection, and happiness. T.J. Woodward is passionate about helping you find your clarity, balance, and purpose. Join co-host T.J. Woodward and Dr. Pat Basile on the first Monday of every month at 11 a.m. Pacific Time for Awakened Living Radio on TransformationTalkRadio.com. On the cutting edge of the new mainstream, Christine Upchurch is passionate about bringing together science, psychology, and spirituality in a way that can be applied to our everyday lives for true transformation. The Christine Upchurch Show, stellar conversations to illuminate your journey, engages some of the most outstanding visionaries on the planet in lively dialogue to inspire you to become that bright light you're meant to be. Join Christine every Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time on KKNW, AM 1150, and Transformations Talk Radio. Tune in each Wednesday at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 4 Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio to Limelight Radio with Katina Macris. This is an inspirational, cutting-edge radio show educating worldwide listeners on the diversity of Lyme disease-related topics. Each week, Katina will interview some of the world's leaders in health, wellness, spirituality, and human potential. For more information, visit LimelightRadio.com. Tune in to Sheer Alchemy with Leslie Fontaine on TransformationTalkRadio.com and get ready to stir up your passions, remove your blocks, and shift into an entirely new existence. 
speaker, teacher, channel, clairvoyant, Leslie Fontaine is a transformation catalyst who channels a powerful energy from source to catapult listeners into living the life they were born to live. Whether it's shifting from scarcity to abundance, from emotional pain into joy, or from illness into health, Leslie will help you step into the true essence and power of all that you are with the help of the Ascended Masters and Archangels. You will not be the same. Visit TransformationTalkRadio.com for show dates and times and LeslieFontaine.com to say yes to explosive abundance. And hi, this is Mara. We're back with Limelight Radio and Katina. Hi. <laughs> hi. Hi. So when we had to go to break, we were talking about the inner work and how, how it changed your health. Yes. Um, it was really um, so intrinsic in terms of my final ascent to reclaiming my 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 whole you know, being body, mind, and spirit, because um, for those that have been seriously ill, whatever the illness is, um, when you've been chronically ill for a long time, so much changes in your in your body and in, in your spirit and in your emotions, your vibrational fields change. You, I felt like I was just very, very like low, low down, like lifting my arms was tiring. Energetically, I was exhausted. Emotionally, I lost my spunk and I'm such a spirited person. So it was such a foreign feeling. And I also realized, Mara, when I had the infections inside of me, those Borrelia and Babesia bugs, mm-hmm. I mean, they have a vibrational force. And they hijack you. I mean, they so do. They, yeah, they, I, honest to God, I, I really felt this, the suicidal, depressing, uh, self defeating, the major criticism. Uh, I mean, those vibrational um, energies of these organisms, they take over your own body and spirit. And your energy. And it's really important to see, as you talk about in your new book and healing with the energy fields within your body and without your body, these bugs take it all over. Like you said, they hijack who you are, the essence of you, as well as the physical part of you. And it's the the work that integrative practitioners do with people who are chronically ill is to bring that all back into center using things that help you get your physical body back. But the work that each person needs to do on their own is that energetic piece. And that's what you teach in this book. Isn't that right? Yes. Yes. And that is very much what prompted me to write this new book, Autoimmune Illness and Lyme Disease Recovery Guide, because I was, I feel like I I had an enormous um, transformational journey through my illness and I was blessed to find one of the finest spiritual teachers in the country, Dr. Meredith Young Sowers, who founded the Still Point School with Carolyn Mace over 30 years ago. And I was blessed, number one, to just attend one of the workshops when I was so tragically ill and like on my air mattress. Um, And then I had the great good fortune of actually going through the year-long training and certification program to become a certified intuitive healer, which is really a spiritual healer, and how to work with our seven energy chakras and our bodily systems and the mind-body-spirit pathway, which you, as you just pointed out, is the energetic side of healing. And for a long time in the United States, really, I think after World War II onwards, um, health care became very compartmentalized. You were just a symptom and a disease state. Emotions were separated from illness for a very long time. I almost think it's archaic now when I look back at it. And um, I mean, I think my grandparents were more tuned in, in all honesty, about mind-body connection. And so this is what really prompted me to write this this book because 
I knew how powerful it was for me. I, as I said to you, I felt the physiological changes, and you know they use that coinage now, epigenetic medicine. Yeah. Um, bi- Biology of Belief, a very famous book by Bruce Lipton. He really gets into it in a very, very profound way. And there's other modalities some people have heard about, like EFT, which is emotional freedom technique, which releases trauma from your cells and from the amygdala of the brain. And But, you know, um, I just felt like I needed to put the tools into the hands of of the American public. Yes, I am I'm trained how to use these tools and people can come see me or we can work on Skype and I can do one-on-one counseling with you, but I felt like, you know what? Katina, wait a second. You <laughs> you've been trained and you've been given a gift now. The illness blessed you with the opportunity to reach out to people, to, to, to as many people as I possibly can, whether it's in reading my material, whether it's on the radio show, whether it's coming to work with me at a workshop, I can teach you how to turn on these inner healing tools. And it's not that hard, Mara. It's just no. a matter of someone taking you through the paces. And I, I love my new workshop series. I taught at Omega. I'm teaching again. I've got a whole new workshop series coming out called Reclaiming Your Inner Eden. The very special uh, uh, colleague of mine, Suzanne Kingsbury, Um, we're going to be bringing it around the country so people can learn how to turn on their inner healer. Um, There's just so much power we hold inside of ourselves. And as important it is to tend to the body and to change our diet and to maintain lifestyle you know, skills that are good for healthy living. Um, you and I can talk more about that. The inner healer is is sorely neglected, and it is. And this is my new passion, really. First, it was you know facing the Lyme disease epidemic, which I still like it's so wedded to. But I'm impassioned to help people turn on their inner healer because, holy cow, the transformation is enormous. It is, and it, it, it's a critical piece. It is, it is a critical piece. It's something I talk about with the people that I work with is you have to look inside, and if there are any blocks there, you need to look at those blocks and get the help if you can't do it yourself to release and forgive. They have to be released. And, 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 and the energy of these illnesses has to be dissipated as you take on your own power empowerment, and it's, it's really, really an important piece. It really is, and you know, um, you work with people all the time as a now as a Lyme disease counselor. I know you've been a practitioner for for decades now, and um, you know, out there in California, um, a lot of people for a long time didn't even realize Lyme, Lyme disease existed, and and you know, we see it as we just talked about with the crossover to the autoimmune illnesses. A lot of these microbes are at play, um, and it's it's so important um, to get into the right hands of practitioners that understand it's not just a pill or procedure to get you well, but it's it's a whole um, healing journey that you need to embrace. And a journey is, you know, journeys are beautiful. I mean, they can be hard. There's pitfalls. Um, any kind of journey I've taken, even a, a travel journey or hiking to a mountaintop or um, a, but a journey of self-discovery, a journey of healing. You know, we have twists and turns and we have to follow the roadmap and we get lost sometimes. But when we find practitioners that um, understand the inner and the outer workings of the human being, um, it's a beautiful process. And you can get better. I think the biggest message here is these are tools to empower each person to recover. They can do it. They can do it. You can do it. I, I, yeah. I, can't, I can't emphasize it enough. You can do it. Um, I don't care. My, I saw my father three times, well, two times while I was alive. He was at death's door, white light and all. And, I mean, he used to tell the stories about when he made the conscious choice to come back. And he heard the doctor saying he's dead. Um, I remember my father giving me pep talks when I was suicidal and I didn't think I could make it. And would I have lived long enough? Would I survive a night? And he said, I don't care what anyone tells you. The power of your mind is the most important tool you have. He said, God gave you a mind and you use it wisely, Katina. And your job is to use your mind wisely. See yourself well. 
feel yourself well, you're going to make it. He says, I don't care what any doctor says to you, what any diagnosis they give you. It doesn't matter. He says, it's in you. You can heal. Use that mind. It's beautiful. He was so wow. right. Wow. What a, what a gift for you to have someone you love like that give you that information. So powerful. I mean, and he yeah. was tough sometimes. I mean, yes, he was, you know, I was crying on the telephone and I don't think I can make it and I can't even <laughs> get out of bed. I can't make a sandwich. I can't get out to the mailbox. And you know, he was sympathetic, but he was also tough with me in terms of like, you can do it. How many times did they tell me I was going to die and I pulled through? He says, you're going to pull through. You've got to use your mind. Use that mind. He says, use your will. So, you know, and he's so right. I mean, that was such a good seedling. And then when I got into the whole program at Still Point, here we are all these years later in the beautiful new book. It's at Amazon right now. I, I've just learned from my um, my publicist that my new book, Autoimmune Illness and Lyme Disease Recovery Guide, right now it's number one in immunology on Amazon. So we're Yay. off to a good start. We're off Yay. to a good start. And with that, we take a break. Okay. <laughs> okay. We'll be right back. My dream is to end homelessness. My passion is living a green life. My dream is to end poverty. My passion is volunteering. My passion is making a difference. My dream is to cure Lyme disease. My passion is rebuilding communities. My passion is helping those in need. My passion is caring for the elderly. My dream is to find a cure for cancer. My dream is to leave a better world for my children. We all have that special passion, that lifelong dream that drives us to live our lives with meaning and to create a better world. No matter what drives you, we can all make an impact. Dr. Pat Basili is helping others make their dreams come true so we can all help make our world a better world. To learn more about how Dr. Pat is building a community of sharing hope, strength, funds, knowledge, and information, visit abetterworldcrowdfunding.com today. That's abetterworldcrowdfunding.com. naturopathic doctor, founder of the Martha's Vineyard Holistic Retreat, and author of the New York Times bestseller, 21 Pounds in 21 Days, Dr. Ronnie DeLuce has helped tens of thousands of people, including celebrities and athletes, with her message of lifestyle change. Now, Dr. Ronnie DeLuce wants to help you. You, too, can be saved. Email Dr. Ronnie DeLuce at info at ronniedeleuceonradio.com and visit mvholisticretreat.com. Dr. Ronnie DeLuce, your partner in wellness. The doctor is in. Tune in to the hit show, The Psychic Love Doctor, with host Deborah Lee. Deborah's life affirming, highly perceptive reading method has taught Deborah how to zero in on specific problems with relationships, career pursuits, and current roadblocks to success and happiness. This inspiring show will help you never feel helpless in life or love ever again. Join Deborah Fridays at 2 p.m. Pacific Time right here on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Tune in each Wednesday at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 4 Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio to Limelight Radio with Katina Macris. This is an inspirational, cutting-edge radio show educating worldwide listeners on a diversity of Lyme disease-related topics. Each week, Katina will interview some of the world's leaders in health, wellness, spirituality, and human potential. For more information, visit LimeLightRadio.com. In the summertime, when the weather is hot, you can stretch right up and touch the sky. Hi, this is Mara, and we're back with Limelight Radio and Katina. So, Katina, on this last segment, this show is going way too fast, um, What, where do you want to move to? Do you have anything more you want to say about your book before we move on? 
Oh, just the last little bit is um, that you can order it right now on Amazon.com or at BarnesandNoble.com, and then it'll be available in all bookstores around the country um, as of really, actually, I think today, August 11th, as of yesterday. So um, I'm I'm hopeful everyone's going to get their hands on it. It's really, I think, potentially, Mara, you've read it. It's I have. Really, it's a paradigm shift in healing. It is. And and it really calls a spade a spade, which I love. There isn't, um, it really, and it empowers. It, I have to say those are the, the two major pieces of it that anybody takes away with right now before they buy it. Those two pieces are really important. So, yeah, so thank you. It was a labor of love, a lot of um, one o'clock in the morning hours writing this uh, book, but I think... Um, everybody's ready for this um there's not anything out quite out there like it now um where i actually as i said give you the inner healing tools as well as as bring it home how critical it is we develop integrative health care centers around this country um they're so overdue so um get your hands on autoimmune illness and lyme disease recovery guide also you can visit my website uh katina com, and i'll have you know sample excerpts there for you to read um and i will be also will put up my schedule because i'm going to be touring the, the country with it now from september 2nd all the way uh through the thanksgiving holiday break i'll be all over so have a good chance to meet me and talk more and um and you know really um interface with people and communities and um actually i've got some great teaching opportunities to to um bring to the nature paths and homeopaths as well so a lot of good info coming other than that i have to say um i think this last little bit i'd love to talk about limelight radio it's been two years it has it has um, and, and an amazing two years. You have had some incredible guests, uh, and I, it has been so fun to be your guest host these last several months. Um, you know, getting to talk to people who have an expertise and an understanding of the whole picture energetically as well as physiologically, it, it really opens a lot of doors, I think, for, for the people who are listening. It's been a great show, Katina. Oh, thank you, Mara. I mean, you know, I, I, first of all, thank you for guest hosting for me these past months when I was, you know, meeting deadlines and working so hard um, and taking workshops overseas. So you've been a fabulous guest host, and I, <laughs> I really hope you and I are going to do more together, um, both, you know, on air and in person, because we're a great team. Yes, we are. <laughs> we're a great team. Um, from the day we met, we were soul sisters from the very second, and Limelight Radio, um, thank you to everybody at Transformation Talk Radio, my team out of Westerly, Rhode Island, at WBLQ, Chris DiPaolo, and Brian, Eugene Sullivan, our super fabulous producer. Um, you folks have been so wonderful in making this show happen. People don't know what goes into creating a radio show, the behind the scenes, um, the prep, the getting our guests, the lining things up, the, our our, our storyboard each week, um, our database, my wonderful assistant, Catherine Bailey. She's been a gem at, you know, helping me load things onto the Transformation Talk Network database. And then our crew out in Seattle, Dr. Pat and Jessica Henderson, um, they have just been so supportive of me creating this show from the very first conversation I had with Dr. Pat Pacelli, which was two and a half years ago when she approached me to be a host because um, she she they found me um, lecturing around the country and said you you are an inspirational person you are filled with an energy that was rare um, would you consider hosting a show and I said I would but can we make it on Lyme disease because I'm so passionate about it I I almost died to this illness and there's millions suffering and and Thank you, Dr. Pat, because she supported me from the beginning. Even though this seemed like a niche topic, what do we have now? This show has gone global. We have millions listening. We have people from all over. I get emails from Australia, from Croatia, from Ireland. We've interviewed Belgium. We've interviewed um, Scandinavia. It's been incredible, Mara. We've had 
top-notch doctors, researchers, foundation leaders, survivors. I mean, this has been incredible. Um, We're going to take a hiatus this fall. I need sponsors, everybody. I'm going to put the plug out right now. We want to make Limelight Radio continue. We want to bring it live again in January 2016, but we need sponsors to make these shows happen because we need to produce them it costs money to produce shows so um, connect with me email me at limelightradio at gmail.com um, if you know anybody that would like to sponsor we have great sponsorship packages but um, it has been such an experience I've learned a lot I've, my guests have taught me so much oh I know it's incredible I, I love it because I've, I've never since, especially since I got into treating Lyme disease and the co-infections having, you know, having a group of people that you can bounce your thoughts off of that you can present cases to to, to really get feedback on what you're thinking and what you're planning and how to adjust that and where to go with it it's 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 really critical to help people get that balance back that we've been talking about this last hour. I know and you know it's just it's just astounding to me. I mean, I've learned the history of the illness. I've I've had incredible recovery stories on so have you. We've had patients that were decimated, they were 18 years with MS, then 18 months on treatment for Lyme and 90% better. I mean, you know, stories like this that are just astounding. Um, Some of these uh, colleagues of ours, Mara, that are out there in the trenches, I say, on the front lines, taking uh, long four-hour intakes on cases, working with people at strange hours of the day and night i mean these are these are heroes we have so many heroes right now working with this uh, epidemic out in the trenches and and to have had them on air with us has been such an honor and such a privilege yeah. such a privilege yep it, it, it's really true i would also like to um do a little plug since this is my last radio show for anana house I have a 501c3 that I know a lot of you know about. Katina has been a champion for Anana House. We're actually talking about collaborating once we get funded, but we are a charitable organization and we need to raise money. This will be an inpatient, the first one inpatient treatment center that's integrative, completely body, mind, spirit oriented treatment center for people with these infections and um, we really need to get it built and we need to get started on this so uh, please see ananahouse.org i-n-a-n-n-a house.org or check out my website at marawilliams.net and um, with that we have just a couple of more minutes katina what would you like to say oh my gosh oh wow (laughs) well i i don't know what to say i just want to say that um uh, makes me teary. Um, <laughs> I know. It's a big deal. This has been an incredible journey. Yeah, I have two shows left, which is great. We have Dan Wolf on next week from um, um, Tickies. He's going to talk to us about his wonderful um, tick uh, tool to remove ticks without um, endangering yourself or your pet. And then we have Dr. Eva Shoppy, one of the brilliant researchers of today. She'll be uh, my final show the end of the month. But I have to say um, thank you, everyone, my beautiful audience. Um, you have tuned in every week. You share our podcasts. Um, you've sent me beautiful emails. You send me Facebook messages. Um, I feel so grateful. I've, I've just feel so so supported by all of you to think that I um, was bedridden seven years ago and nearly really, really at death's door. I never thought I would walk again. I never thought I would dance. I never thought I would travel. I never saw thought I would ever see another client. I was so devoted. <laughs> I was so devoted as a homeopathic practitioner. I had burnt my client files. I mean, how far I've come, uh, what what momentum this radio show has created around the world, the dialogue, the awareness. Um, thank you to everyone yes. um, all around, all of you. It's been beautiful, and I do hope we get to continue. It's been very, very special for me. And it's in, a, in an extra little way, I, I, I feel like, gosh, the universe provides. I mean, you put 
your heart and soul into things and then look what happens. This yeah. beautiful program, these yeah. beautiful guests and this beautiful team I've worked with. So thank well, you, everyone. And thank you, Katina, for wrapping up my time with Limelight Radio. I really appreciate you coming on. And oh. to all of our listeners, thank you for uh, enjoying my shows. And I hope to be back in J- January with Katina. Thank you, so, Mara. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Have a great day. You've been listening to Limelight Radio with Katina Macros. Tune in each Wednesday at 1 Pacific Time, 4 Eastern Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Get ready for some of the most provocative conversation with leaders in health, wellness, spirituality, and human potential. If you've missed any part of this hit radio show, visit LimelightRadio.com. That's LimelightRadio.com. We'll see you next week on Limelight Radio with Katina Macros. Then I go to my